All right, welcome back to Morning Live. And right now, I want to focus on issues prep. And of course, I have two gentlemen in studio, Mr. Duke Karongo and of course, James, that's not actually James Karongo and of course, Duke Sangara, who will be telling us about the issues just revolving prep. You know, as, as it is solution-oriented, uh, um, that was medication that came in, but there's so many things to be discussed. Just how will you use it? Because not so many people are aware of actually just trying to operate with prep. Karibu ni sana. Asante. Of course, Bona Duke. Yeah. Nice name. Okay, thanks a lot. <laughs> All right. Now, <laughs> when we talk about prep, yeah. um, it gave confidence to so many people that indeed I won't be troubled, as yeah. you know very well. The biggest debacle is all about HIV and AIDS. And um, we have a situation whereby people have also been misusing it. James, is it? Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Now, Duke, to start with you, maybe t tell, tell us about uh, PrEP first, because before we now go to the nitty gritties, what is PrEP? Okay, I think uh, before we understand about PrEP, mm -hmm. it's good that we understand, like, what are the basics about the current HIV trends in Kenya okay, okay. as a country. Yeah. I think uh, since 2004, with the introduction of antiretroviral drugs, okay. ARVs, sure. I think there's been a, a decline in terms of, of the, the impact of, uh, mm. of HIV AIDS and are related deaths. Mm -hmm. So I think as at 2017, we have around 52,000 HIV infections every year. Mm -hmm. So this means that uh, in every month, mm -hmm. I think in every day, we get around 144 new HIV infections. Wow. That's around six in every hour. Okay. So I think uh, PrEP, prep uh, in full is pre exposure mm -hmm. prophylaxis. Mm -hmm. It uh, was introduced in the country in 2013, mm -hmm. but that was uh, as a as a study. Okay, okay. So PrEP is a, a daily drug of mm -hmm. antiretroviral drugs mm -hmm. that uh, acts against the HIV virus mm -hmm. and uh, it basically acts to like when you acquire the HIV virus mm -hmm. in your blood, mm -hmm. in your system through any entry, it could be a prick, okay. either through vaginal intercourse mm -hmm. or so it attaches to the cells in the body, they are called the CD4 cells. Mm -hmm. So there are uh, types of white blood cells which prevent the body from infections. Okay. So it has a life cycle mm -hmm. that it binds the to the CD4 cell mm -hmm. and it enters in the in the CD4 cell. Okay. And then it changes itself. We call it like reverse transcription. Okay. To resemble the DNA of the body. Mm -hmm. So when the body multiplies, mm -hmm. the cells of the body multiplies. So the virus multiplies along it. Okay. So PrEP is an antiretroviral drug mm -hmm. which acts to block that cycle of of uh, of the virus okay. in case you acquire it in the body. Okay. So you take a a pill every day. Mm -hmm. It's a daily pill. Oh, for how long? So you take it as long as you are at an ongoing risk for HIV oh, infection. Okay, okay. Yeah. For for when you take it for the first time, mm -hmm. you should take at least for seven days so that it can get sustainable levels in blood mm. for you to be protected against HIV infection. Okay. Wow. Yeah. Interesting. Well, allow me to add. Absolutely. Absolutely. I think it's very important for us to recognize that we've come from uh, from very far as a country okay. and as uh, you know as, as as the world in terms of you know combating mm. HIV mm. and prep is just one of the many ways okay. in which it was introduced to help us prevent new HIV infection. Okay. So it's what it's part of what we call combination prevention because right. we realize that if you only use one way when fighting HIV then it's not effective but if we use many different ways mm -hmm. when fighting uh, you know new HIV infections then mm. it becomes very effective. So uh -huh. prep was just one of the many other ways mm -hmm. that was introduced you know as one of the new technologies to help us as people who work in the HIV prevention world to right. you know help the clients that we work with you mm -hmm. know to prevent new HIV infections okay. and very important to note that you that you asked Dick that question mm -hmm. for how long you take prep Absolutely. you know you take prep for as long as you're at ongoing risk and you know this uh -huh. ongoing risk uh -huh. is uh -huh. that if we don't prevent you from get you know if we don't take the prep mm -hmm. the next two one man, mm -hmm. you'll get HIV. So that risk is very important. So Absolutely. PrEP is for anyone mm -hmm. with a very high risk okay. of getting HIV. You know, that person whom if they don't take PrEP, okay. they'll get infected. Okay, interesting. Yes. Now, um, still on you, Bona James, yes. the traction it's gaining so far, you mentioned it was introduced in the country in 2012, is it? In 2013. 2013. Yeah, yeah. 2013. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, um, since 2013, of course, gaining traction in different parts of the country, of course, is really doing well. But the acceptance by so many quarters still lagging behind. Maybe, Jim, maybe just you can tell us about this, because now as it is, prep, yes, we can see, we can, we've watched advertisements, left, right, center, but not so many people are conversed, are conversed about all the situation. Why is that? Well, uh, as I answer the question, allow me to say this. You know, imagine prep, 
uh, is a drug that you are taking and you are not sick. Mm -hmm. Ordinarily, when you are sick, yeah. you don't even finish the medication. I think Absolutely. me and you can have that experience. Absolutely. You go to the hospital, mm -hmm. you are given a dose, mm -hmm. you never finish it. Yeah. But here comes a drug mm -hmm. that you are supposed to take it every single day, okay. as long as you are at risk sure. to prevent you from, okay. uh, do not prevent you from getting HIV. Yeah. So first, one of the issues that we are really having is mm -hmm. adherence okay. to the drug. And you know, for prep to work, based on the research that has been done mm -hmm. you know you have to take it on a daily basis you have okay. to adhere okay. and of course some people once they have you know started taking prep they pull out because the first two or three weeks and you know duke is a clinician can explain more sure. you know there are uh, side effects mm -hmm. you know that come with it mm -hmm. so that is also another problem and then also the other issue that you, you know you have seen with the you know attraction of prep also is because now when people now start taking prep they forget that prep prevents you from hiv okay. but prep does not prevent you from pregnancy PrEP doesn't okay. prevent you from other yeah, STIs. Yeah, so also as you're using PrEP, mm -hmm. PrEP should not be used alone. Yeah. PrEP should be used with also other means. And that's the problem. <laughs> now that's, that's where I was coming to. Yes. Because it's really taking a toll on so many adolescents. And I can just, maybe just give you a statistic over here, a statistic over here, which is very, I think, scary also to me. Mm -hmm. And um, in sub-Saharan Africa, around 50,000 people, mm -hmm. mostly adolescent girls and young women are on PrEP against a target of 141,754. Now, most PrEP users in Kenya, in Africa actually are in Kenya, South Africa, Uganda, Zimbabwe, and Lesotho. Now, in this situation, in a study carried out, 74 couples by a team of local and international scientists, 40 women got pregnant, some more than once without a single case of HIV transmission. You mentioned pregnancy. All right, sometimes not by choice, but you see, um, maybe I'll come back to you, Duke. Um, yeah. Before you talk about the side effects, you mentioned it doesn't prevent you from pregnancy. Yes, and the Forty FDIs. women got pregnant. Were they aware of what is happening? Because now I think also you, you know to know what, what's happening. You need to know what's happening. It's prep you're actually testing, not pregnancy. Was there misinformation from this? Uh, maybe the sampling effect. What, what was happening here, Duke? Can I interject before uh, absolutely. Duke goes? Sure, sure. <laughs> because I think I know the study that you're referring mm -hmm, to. Mm -hmm. and for me, that was a success because okay. in that study... 40 pregnancies. Yes. You know, in that, stu <laughs> in that study, yes. since I read it this morning, yeah. what they were looking at mm -hmm. is the mothers who are, you know, HIV positive and mm -hmm. they had negative partners. Okay. If they were able to get pregnant and not infect their partners and also okay. get HIV negative, uh -huh, basis, uh -huh, uh -huh. Duke can pick okay. it up from there. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. okay, I think first, uh, as we talk about... I think there's a, there's a challenge in terms of awareness as a country. Absolutely. That's in not terms the most of, important part. Yeah. Of in terms of, uh, of PrEP. Mm -hmm. But currently with the scale up of PrEP that is ongoing in the country, we aim uh, to reach like people with information through social media and one-on-one -on -one contacts. Mm -hmm. So I think the problem has been awareness that mm -hmm. uh, initially people thought that uh, either PrEP is something that you could either mm -hmm. take once a month okay. and uh, it's a Good done deal. Okay. So I think uh, the problem has been awareness. Okay. And uh, I, I think it's know that is so that people can know that PrEP only prevents you from acquiring HIV infection. Okay, okay. So as Akarongo mentioned, mm -hmm. it's, uh, it's to be used as part of a combination prevention strategy mm -hmm. that you are using PrEP, you're also using condoms, yeah. that in case of now, either you have a condom burst, so yeah. like it should be combined with the other means okay. of, of pre preventing HIV. Yeah, yeah. So it shouldn't be used in isolation. It's clearly sex is becoming dangerous because you have to combine so many things for your safety. Now, um, side effects. Because now, before you get into what content it has, sometimes people react on these things. I can tell you this, I'm very sure you've seen even some people, their physical attributes actually change. Some people actually react to these things big time. Maybe you can tell us more about the side effects. Okay, I yeah. think let me go ahead. Absolutely. Yeah. It's a clinician <laughs> here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, I think as any drug, mm -hmm. I think most drugs are molecules mm -hmm. and they interact in terms of different ways with the body. So also PrEP as a drug has some side effects. So we expect uh, in either two out of ten people who take PrEP, they experience some side effects okay. which are mild. Okay. So this range from a mild headache, okay. a feeling of dizziness, mm -hmm and uh, a feeling of nausea like mm -hmm. a feeling like feel like vomiting okay but uh but this these side effects last between 5 to 10 days okay so they are not like they are not sustained for forever all right so after taking them the drugs for a line like 5 days mm -hmm. the side effects are gone okay and now it's like like it's now yeah the, the body is acclimatized yeah, so yeah, yeah, everything yeah. is going mm. on well okay so just like uh, any other drugs mm -hmm. 
you may expect anaphylax like anaphylaxis from like a drug like an allergy okay for for drugs okay for any other person mm -hmm. like some people can take a given drug and then they can get a rash okay so we have not reported many cases of such but that could also be expected mm -hmm. yeah 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 of course mm. now um when you talk about prep and also this prevention measures do you think very soon you're having a hope of getting this vaccine to sort out this thing once and for all because now already we're having um drugs to prevent actually to reduce the load is it the load and everything that is arv is, yeah. absolutely now prep is also in the picture now just to keep you at bay for of, for example a commercial sex workers i'm very sure they're the biggest users of this and to keep you at bay for uh, just uh, uh, getting hiv and aids do you think now there's hope for that vaccine that elusive vaccine soon so even as I answer a question, it's important to mention mm -hmm. that PrEP is not only, you know, as you say, not yeah. only for sex workers. Okay, maybe majority used by, yeah, sure. But, ma but majority is for anyone Absolutely. who is at the highest risk of HIV infection. Who, I think who, are, who are these people? You know, I understand. <laughs> eh? yes. being, being at the highest risk of getting HIV infection, there's some sort of carelessness also. From where I'm sitting. Yeah, yeah. 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 You know, we, we don't need to avoid this question of, we need to talk about carelessness and personal responsibility. Mm -hmm. Dick, you, you want to say something? Okay, in terms of, of those people who are eligible to take PrEP, mm -hmm. actually, it is not like a population that we are speaking about. Mm -hmm. It's about the sexual behavior yeah. Yeah. and like characteristics that put you at risk. Ah, perfect, sexual so, behavior. Yeah. yeah. So, for instance, one is if your sexual partner is mm -hmm. HIV positive okay. and uh, either their viral load is like is not suppressed, okay. they have an viral load. Yeah. This means that the ARVs that they are taking mm -hmm. are not d working well to suppress the viruses in the system. Okay. Or you are trying to get pregnant with that partner. That's the first, mm -hmm. the first uh, eligibility. Okay. So people who have, if you have unprotected sexual intercourse with a partner of a non-HIV mm -hmm. status, mm -hmm. I think most Kenyans fall in that bracket. Absolutely. That uh, we have sexual partners mm -hmm. we are not using condoms mm -hmm. with, mm -hmm. but we've never had an HIV test yeah. together. That's true. So that's an eligibility for PrEP. Okay. Okay. So I think even most people could fall there. Mm -hmm. And then the people who, who do transactional sex, mm -hmm. so sex workers, okay. like doing sex for money. So in terms of where there's money involved, there could be either someone can say, I'll add money, we don't use condom. Mm -hmm. So in terms of transactional sex, where money is exchanging and in terms of sexual intercourse. Mm -hmm. And then uh, in terms of people who are married or okay. people who are in relationships and where we have intimate partner violence. So yeah. intimate partner violence is a, uh, a form of violence that is perpetrated by a partner, so mm -hmm. a sexual partner, an intimate mm -hmm. person that either you stay with or you are you are in a long-term relationship so with. So in short, what are you trying to make gender-based violence yeah, on the rep side, uh, that is? Yeah, so mm -hmm. like it, it has been found that mm -hmm. like with partners who, who are living under there is uh, IPV, okay. intimate partner violence, okay. there's a risk of and protected sexual intercourse. Right, right, okay. So like things play around which could re increase the risk for acquiring yeah, HIV infection. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so, so basically PrEP is not for a given population, okay. but uh, it's for people who are at ongoing Mm -hmm. risk for HIV. Okay. Yeah. You're expanding more about the vaccine, actually. Yes, and mm -hmm. I, 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 I would not like to term it as careless behavior. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, for example, uh, young people, they're just being young people, mm -hmm. you know, it's being youth, yeah. you're having fun mm -hmm. and everything, yeah. and it's because true. it's the fashion what everyone mm -hmm. is doing, mm -hmm. so they find themselves doing, and that's why we... But let's not encourage that, of course. Of course, we're not encouraging that. In the name that. of being young, <laughs> and then so we become careless. And, and that's why that's we, where we come in. Yeah, of course, that's where we come in. So I try to ensure that we are, you know, giving awareness to the young people, to any other person. It's like you're trying to tell these people who, who, who tell our youth that um, abstainers, please abstain. You see, uh, right now you might say we are young people, but at the same time someone else is saying there's prep and someone else is saying abstain. So much confusion, you know what I mean? Eh? Mm. So yeah, just explain have, more. It's not confusion, mm -hmm. it's just ensuring that you have all the information, that you have an option, <laughs> that if you can't abstain, you can use a condom. Oh, options. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. So if you can't, that was the right <laughs> one. <laughs> yeah, so if you can't use a condom mm -hmm. and you feel that you must have sex without a yeah, condom, yeah, you have yeah. PrEP to okay. prevent you Absolutely. from it. And sure. of course for the sure. ladies, there's mm -hmm. contraceptives and mm -hmm. all that. So mm -hmm. back to the question about vaccine, I think there is hope. Mm -hmm. Trials are ongoing, you mm -hmm. know, by different companies, yeah, different institutions yeah. and different organizations. And for me, is that 
all is not lost. Yeah, and sure. you know, the most important thing that people should know that mm -hmm. trials are ongoing, mm -hmm. but people should have the right and accurate information so mm -hmm. that you know that you have options. So mm -hmm. if you can't abstain, there's a condom. If you can't use a condom mm -hmm. with PrEP, you know, there's PrEP and mm -hmm. there are many other options available for you. So for mm -hmm. me, what I like saying, and you know, Duke can attest to this, mm -hmm. that right now, as long as awareness is there, as a person, you should be at a point where you should not be able to get to HIV because okay. all the options are available mm -hmm. to you because we have given you all these other options. Mm -hmm. You know, even testing now has been made easy. Yeah. The self-testing, yeah, you absolutely. can test yourself in the house with your partner you yourself, and, and, yourself, and, yeah. and, and you, you go ahead. So for sure. me, there is hope yeah. and all is not lost. Okay. And for me, is that the different options are available mm -hmm. for us when it comes to HIV prevention. Mm -hmm. Let's explore all of them. You know, mm -hmm. even those that are positive, yeah. we have what we call uh, you know, treatment as prevention, mm -hmm. such that if you take your medication properly, and mm -hmm. correctly, mm -hmm. you're able to suppress your virus, mm -hmm. and then once you've suppressed, then you, you know these days we say, and you know, and you know, uh, what is it called? U is equals to U. Yeah. Uh, detectable is equals to untransmittable. So if your virus is not detectable, mm -hmm. then you're not able to transmit it to the next person. Okay. So even those that are positive, mm -hmm. to make sure that they're taking their medication properly and correctly, mm -hmm. so that mm -hmm. their viral load is suppressed and can't be de detected, mm -hmm. and therefore they can't pass it on to the next person. Okay. Because for us to have new new infections every year, that means someone who was positive mm -hmm. was able to pass it to the next person. Okay. And okay. also to add, testing is very important. People mm -hmm. need to know their status. Yeah. You know, 50, 40, about forty-seven percent of the people in this country don't know their status, sure. and we think everyone knows their status. Yeah, sure. So it's important that partners, and especially sexual partners, mm -hmm. it's important that they know their mm -hmm. status. Over the counter situation now, is it available? Okay, currently, yeah, currently prep is a. Uh, you can't buy it over the counter, mm -hmm. but in sele like a, uh, like some pharmacies, some pharmacies, mm -hmm. but. Some select pharmacies. Select pharmacies. Yeah. Keyword yeah. is select, even, actually. Even ARVs are available in, in pharmacies. Okay. So if you are, if you, like you can buy mm -hmm. uh, for yourself as a person. Okay. But uh, as a country now, mm -hmm. we, the country has provided PrEP in health facilities, in actually all health facilities okay. for free. So, so not your usual chemist where you can go and yeah, say yeah, yeah, PrEP. You yeah. cannot actually access it. In you know, over-the-counter accessibility. Yeah. Yeah. You know, by the time you decide to go to a health center, that's quite something, eh? Nenda hospitalini, but nenda chemist. There are two different ball games. you know what I mean, eh? So, you chemist pile mm. Can someone access this thing over-the-counter? Okay, chemist kwa mm -hmm. you can't access it. You can't access it, okay. Yeah, yeah, so mm -hmm. it's available in uh, government hospitals, mm -hmm. yeah. in health centers, mm -hmm. and in supported, like, like now, as, as LVZT, okay. we have our clinics ah, okay. in Nairobi okay. Okay. and in other regions, uh, Western Nyanza. Mm -hmm. So in such clinics, mm -hmm. you can access PrEP from there. Okay. Yes. You know, even administration of ARVs, we had AMPATH, yeah. who are solely actually responsible for it. That means now, it's back to our pharmacies again. AMPATH is not doing this? No, no, no. AMPATH is still implementing uh, uh -huh. yeah, HIV AIDS program okay. in a Western and Rift, yeah. Rift Valley. Okay. So still... Like still, uh, HIV care has mm -hmm. not been switched to pharmacies. Okay. So even a majority of, of patients who are mm -hmm. on care mm -hmm. are not taking ARVs from the pharmacy right. because they're not available. Yes, they are available in, in even PEP is available in, yeah. in pharmacies. Yeah. ARVs are dispensed in mm -hmm. pharmacies. But they are very expensive. But, yeah, 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 yeah. They are oh, expensive. Okay. okay. Maybe yeah, how, much? So how much? How much? Roughly how much? Okay. I can't quote the, 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 the range. Just yeah. give the range. Mm. Mm. I, what I know for prep, mm. uh, based on my own research, is okay. about three thousand six hundred to four thousand shillings per dose. Per dose. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And okay. a for dose lasts month. for a month. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Mm. Interesting. Yeah. 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 Interesting. But why so go and buy and you can find it in government <laughs> facilities? In our facilities at LVCT yeah. Health. Dosage for free. The dosage. One, one day. Tab, one tab. Yeah. A day? One tab a day. One tablet a day. Okay. 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 It's taken at a scheduled time. If you agree to take it. Mm -hmm. If it's 8 p.m., mm -hmm. you'll take it at mm -hmm. that time okay. every day. Mm -hmm. okay. So because actually that drug has okay. an half-life. So okay. an half-life is when you take that drug, okay. there's a duration of time that it, it is in the blood. It's, right. it's circulating in the blood okay. to prevent any infection. Okay. So after, that, mm -hmm. after around 36 hours, mm -hmm. you don't have a dose of PrEP in your body. That means mm -hmm. if you took uh, the last dose 36 hours ago okay. and now you involve in and protect the text with a person who is HIV positive, okay. then there's a chance that you could be infected. Interesting. That's why it should be taken every okay. day. Every day. Yeah, yeah. So content, you know, you know, so, sometimes we, we talk about reactions, we talk about, you see, when I talk about PrEP, I understand that you, as a clinician, you understand the content. For example, now, um, 
in the back of that box you'll open it on the side defects people are so much concerned about the side defects so that at least as when i drive mm. then he's he or she's drowsy i end up with the pavement or something you know what i mean mm. yeah. yeah okay the content for for prep <laughs> is basically antiretroviral drugs okay so they could be given in different regimens but the current one in the country we are using tenovovia mm -hmm. and a drug called emtricitabai okay so there are uh, drugs which are act on an enzyme called reverse trans transcriptase mm -hmm. which are that enzyme is the one which facilitates the hiv virus okay to convert itself to imitate the the dna of the body okay so it the drug acts to block the pathway okay. of the life cycle at that point all right so emtricitabine is a is a nucleoside so it's a, a reverse transcriptase inhibitor mm -hmm. so it's inhibitor inhibits that enzyme eh hey, mr clinician so is telling us this, this technical words <laughs> okay, but, but it's, it's okay it's okay <laughs> <laughs> okay but there are okay, yes, yeah. retroviral drugs mm -hmm. basically okay okay yeah, yeah, interesting yeah. now um when you go to that uh, over the counter situation now you want to buy prep of course umambi um, jamaa nipe prep do you think there's a process they need to follow maybe just oh prep okay dose moja sawa chukua do you think you guys actually have to take this patient through some process or maybe ask questions so for, for pharmacies that sell prep mm -hmm. uh, those pharmacists have been trained in the process of initiating prep mm -hmm. in the process of giving the client mm -hmm. the right correct and accurate information okay. Okay. and therefore there isn't any risk of you just buying and working with it oh. without knowing how to use it without knowing that there might be side effects it is it is so those pharmacists okay. have been trained in terms okay. of ensuring as they sell it as mm -hmm. they administer mm -hmm. prep to you know clients first mm -hmm. you know they have you know they run you through the eligibility mm -hmm. to test okay. if you're eligible and then they do the necessary things and i think All also right. you can mention that you know there are certain tests that you must do like the liver function test okay. um, i'm not very yeah. <laughs> yes. So there's certain tests that must yeah. be run for okay. you to be eligible, you all know, right. for prep. There's a certain weight, there's a certain age, mm -hmm. and all those things. So oh, those those pharmacists okay. are okay. trained, and therefore, mm -hmm. by virtue that they're having prep, in, you know, in their chemist or in their pharmacy, that means they have been trained and you know they have been certified to give it out, and therefore they can't give it out any other way. You know, all you right. must give it out in the correct way. Thank you very much, gentlemen, for coming. You, you, you had something just quick on before we wind up. Okay, maybe to add in terms of mm -hmm. those people who can take prep. Mm -hmm. Okay, prep is not taken. Is not a for people who are less than 14 years oh, okay. for okay. people more than 15 years okay. because of the concept very age important for hiv testing yeah, sure. yeah you can't test an hiv yeah. uh, a person with 14 years 14 without years. their consent okay. and uh, i think basically as the entry at 15 years age okay. and a cut of 35 kg and above perfect so, yeah thank you so much duke and james for coming i believe i have also learned people have also learned from lvct good job you're doing So very soon I hope but just be responsible all there. It's not all about prep my friend eh? Just take care of yourself first <laughs> because now prep is just the that last measure you need to actually go to because now you have to be very very steadfast in your morals, your activity, everything. My name is Nick Mudimba. I wish you a beautiful morning. Jason Mon is coming up next with full cycle. Stay tuned to Switch TV.